Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. So in this video, we're going to talk about how you can insert a multiple line string in your database. So here I am using Microsoft SQL Server and in this uh, uh, tutorial, what we're going to talk about is we're going to use uh, the select uh, method uh, to insert the multi-line string in your database which can be later used to do reporting or any other requirements that you might need to complete so without talking more about this uh, let's jump into this tutorial so at first what we are going to do is uh, you can see that we're using a master database here so we'll use the database uh, name testing and you can see that command is run successfully and you can see that now I'm switched to my testing uh, database so many of you might have already created a table but uh, for those uh, who are new to the database let's uh, start by creating the table so to create a table we're going to use a simple SQL query to create query uh, so Create table. Uh, let's give it a name information. Okay, so oh yes, as you can see that when I type the name, uh, it is in light blue color, which means that it is a keyword. So if you want to use the keyword as a table column, then you must use two big brackets. Uh, this lets the database know that. Uh, you are not using the keyword, but uh, you want to use this keyword as a column. Uh, so this is the way to do it. So let's give it a darker. So we normally give it uh, 255, but if you have a long text, you can go to max. Okay, so for this, I'm using 255. So let's keep this at 255 as well. I'm sorry. Okay, come in. Come in. And lastly, I'll give it the information. And then I close the table. So you can see that the table is created. So if you want to check the table, then you can use the select query. Yeah, you can see that there is name, last name and information in the table, uh, the three column. Okay, so now we move on. So now uh, to insert the data so we are going to use a, a select statement and then we are going to create a temp temporary table uh, we are going to put the data in the temporary table and then we are going to load the data into the main table so in this way you can uh, this way this is a very simple way and it can be used to load multiple uh, data multiple lines of data at once and it's very easy for this i'm just going to use one line i'll show you how to insert the multiple lines using the same technique in the other video okay so i think i got my information spelling mistake there but uh, it's okay uh, i mean uh, you can name your table anything you want uh, let's not go to there uh, so let's continue so what we are going to use is uh, select so let's say your name is data as you can use a different name different columns also here to insert the data on the temporary table but uh, i recommend using the same column as in your table so it will be difficult easy for you to know which table you have and uh, what data type you have so this will be easy so i'm going to use the same uh, table column name in the temporary table so last name is saver 
and as the last name and then we're going to use information so we can say that hello is the information information into uh, let's give our temporary table a name we'll call it f r o m a t i o n so right so in this way you can create a temporary table and see that if i run this query and if i you select all from has information which means the has is used to denote the temporary table so you can see that data saver and hello is here so this is for a single string right so what you want to do is you want to insert it into information okay so you have um, name you can use them already so what i did here was i used the alt and my mouse key to get the information quickly so but i will show you how i did it again um, What you can do is you can click, press the R key and then you drag your mouse like this. And if you give so in this way, you can use uh, you insert the data in multiple rows at once in SQL. So, so this is the trick. Uh, so what you do is you click your left mouse button and then you press Alt and then you drag your mouse till where you want to insert the certain information right so i don't need comma here i'm going to delete that information and what we're going to do is select name and last name and for information from the temporary table from the temporary table so we have all this information so let's run this query what happened here okay so, so there is a spelling mistake over here mm -hmm. okay so what we did here was we selected the the table uh, i mean the column name here is the table name and here are the three columns and what we did is we took all the data that were in the temporary table and we used their column name to insert them into the main table so if you run this, so you can see that if I run this statement, you can see that the data is inserted here. But uh, this is not our this is not our final product, right? So what we want is we want to see multiple lines of strings get inserted into the database. So for this, I recommend you open your Word word documents so so here is the word and if you uh, so let's type in the information you want to write so okay I'll type the information this is data so what you want to do is you want to press enter every time you, you want uh, the data the strings to be shown as you want you you got to 
use those character right so if you want space use space if you want uh, an extra space use enter in that way we continue right that data you are doing great and all the best okay so if you copy this and then you use it in the data is here right so let's paste it here and then you want to run this but the problem is that you already have a temporary data Space, which is name information right uh, so it, you won't be allowed it to use it again so let's change the data uh, temp table name to a different name so I think I said database before I mean what I meant was the temporary table so you need to change the temporary table because you are only allowed it to use uh, the table once this goes for not just for temporary table for other table also if the table is have same name uh, then you won't be allowed it to create a new table uh, I mean create a new table with the same name so this will cause ambiguity so SQL does not allow does not allow this so what we are going to do is we are going to change the temporary table name by a little bit so I'll just add an informational okay so now here we go informational okay now what we do is now we run the same process as before first we insert this data into the informational table and then we insert this informational ta table data to the information table which is our main table this is the output we want right so if you look at this table now the data is inserted you can see that here are some space right so you can see that this is data and full stop you can see that space so you might some of you might have a question that I don't see enter and I don't see the line by line data which uh, was shown in the world right so this uh, can be used uh, in Power BI or Tableau this column can be used uh, to show the data like in the world with the enters uh, so I'll talk about more about this on the later video but for now this is how you insert the data the multi-line data into your database so i hope you learned about this uh, so if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below um, thank you and have a great time happy learning bye you guys